Hello class, I'd like to give you a tutorial where I continue to build on uh, this simple website I started creating last week. The goal of this tutorial will be to create a fully functional five-page website with some basic CSS formatting getting used to the CSS styles. Now a couple notes about this website. If you look overall at the formatting here, the design, it's very simple. And uh, I want to start out simple. I don't care about the design for the first you know, few weeks of class. Uh, we'll be moving into the CSS division tags and the box model uh, probably here in the next two or three weeks. And we'll be focusing on design. We'll also be including uh, graphics from Photoshop. So the goal for this type of design would be to create something very usable and easy to navigate. For example, title on every page, menu in the same place on every page, uh, same formatting. Uh, so create something usable and also to get you to understand how to use the main features of Dreamweaver which will be all the simple HTML, links, uh, Im inserting images, starting to do a basic layout and then working with the CSS styles panel. So that's the foundation that's kinda like stage one to get you started. So what we're gonna do here is continue building on this side on my my 76 Corvette. I actually sold that car a couple years ago but these are uh, very affordable uh, collectibles if you're looking to get into these at all they're like uh, you can probably pick one of these up for six or seven thousand so not much at all really uh, when you consider you know new cars are up in the twenty thousand range so the problem with this was uh, the brakes I always had trouble with the brakes on it so if you have an old car with bad brakes you know it's not very fun to drive but we'll just continue building on it and uh, and you can do the same thing with your site. This will be like your next project, you know, just building a fully functional website. Let me do a quick review before I uh, start in on the links, specifically with the CSS styles panel. So if you recall, we created a couple styles. You'll see a body right here, and that you'll find in the code. If you go back to your code, you can see that's the background color. Uh, now Dreamweaver does use some little abbreviations for the hexadecimals, which is fine. All right, we also did a title. Uh, for the Corvette right here, so if you double click on that, you'll see the found the uh, foundation. Uh, that doesn't make sense. You'll see the formatting. So if you decided, well, you want this to be a little different color, you could just change it. Click apply, and notice that it changes the color right there. So uh, we'll talk more about design. You know, change uh, color theory and all of that. You probably have had some of that from your other classes. Okay, and then let's do one new CSS rule here. If you'll notice, I added in a couple little headings and paragraphs. The paragraphs just uh, picked up the same formatting from this info.info .info, uh, that we put in for the font size 14, Arial, white. But let's say we want these headings, these little headings, to be something different. So uh, an alternate way and probably more of a preferred way to generate your, style, your uh, styles, your rules, will be to use this little button right here. So uh, when I did the last tutorial, we just sort of started highlighting things on the page and creating them from down here, and then they would automatically show up in the CSS styles panel. So what we want to do here actually is uh, do a new CSS rule that we're going to apply later on uh, after we create it. So let's do new rule. And then naming can be kind of tricky sometimes. You don't want to name these... Uh, the same as uh, an HTML tag so you might you know information is okay except we've already got that as one of our rules so we might call it info2 and then again rule definition this document only you'll see a new tutorial on creating a separate style sheet here coming soon so we'll come back to that but for this site uh, rule definition in this document only is fine so click OK and then let's go ahead and set uh, uh, maybe the font to something a little different here. You don't want to mix fonts too much, but just for practice it's fine. We'll do size 16, and let's do a color that's uh, maybe a little bit darker so it stands out from the white, and then apply. Well, let's see, we could also make it bold. Apply, and click OK. Now nothing happened on our design because that rule is not applied anywhere. Okay, so how do you apply it? Well, a good idea is just to simply highlight uh, what you want to apply it to and then change the targeted rule. So if I highlight updates, go to CSS here. It can be confusing sometimes if you're on HTML you don't see the CSS. So Dreamweaver divides the properties panel into HTML elements that pertain to HTML code like links and, parag and uh, paragraphs and headings. Uh, and then you do have to ID elements also in HTML. And then CSS gives you your rules. So 
you'll see when you do that drop down you'll see the new one you just created so just set that okay and notice that now it's a little larger and it's a bold and a lighter a uh, little lighter shade of gray here same thing for outside links if you want to do that just apply it okay so that's a good uh, little review for you created a new rule using the CSS styles and then we applied it down here all right let's save now let's go ahead and generate some links let's start out with uh, the easiest link and that would be creating an outside link so if I want Chevrolet to take me to the Chevy website just highlight HTML and then type in the link or copy and paste it if you want okay make sure the link is correct go ahead and set it there all right let's do one more thing here with this link if I go back to it target now if you're creating links to your own pages your own HTML pages you don't need to fool with this but if you're creating links to an outside website a lot of times you want that to be a pop-up uh, unless you want your visitor to leave your site that's the problem with these outside links so you want to separate those links uh, one thing you never want to do is put a link to your own page up here and then a link right beside it to an outside website. That's very confusing. So uh, that looks fine. Uh, go ahead and save that and preview it if you want to make sure it works. So I'll preview in browser, uh, usually preview in Chrome here. Um, and then, let's see, I had a few other photo editing software programs open that I was going to show you here. If I click on Chevrolet, takes me right to the website okay I'll come back to that in a second one thing you'll notice the blue does not work at all with the green background so a simple way to change your links is up in page properties modify page properties and then links in CSS you know you want to when possible use CSS for all your formatting so you would just change here links and then uh, you could change that to white and then if you're using the visited uh, rollover visited active links that's the basic CSS formatting uh, you could change those also and then we'll get to that later in another tutorial where we talk more about those links but if you go ahead and uh, change those all we'll just change them all to white and then double check it make sure it looks okay on the browser okay we'll do a file save okay and preview in Chrome just to double check that link so it looks okay now you can see it a little bit better so you can set your color with that link right here uh, one thing I'll mention real fast, uh, if you don't have uh, Photoshop or Fireworks, uh, Paint Shop Pro is a good alternative, uh, talking about something cheaper, you know, this one is 40 you can probably even get it cheaper on sale, but it does probably 95% of what Photoshop does. And then if you want something really simple, you know, here's an online uh, photo editor, photoflexer.com, you upload a photo and you can change it around, crop it, resize it. So. A uh, couple options there. I just happened to have that open. I wanted to mention it. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some of these other pages. Now, before you do that, what I would recommend is that you get your home page in uh, as good a condition as you can for resaving. Now, by by that I mean that you're going to be generating your other pages based on your home page. You'll see what that looks like in one second. So what I would do is go ahead and put in my links, even though I don't have the pages yet. So let me highlight about, go down here to HTML on the properties link, and I'll type about.html. And when you're doing these uh, links and creating your new pages, make sure you do all lowercase, no spaces. You should have learned that in, uh, in basic HTML. Okay, specifications, we'll just call this specs.html. Make it simple so you can remember it. No capitals history.html and then contact you don't need to do anything with the target because you want your HTML your links to open up in the same window okay go ahead and save that and uh, let's go ahead and uh, well if there's anything else that you want to do you know maybe you want to add in some simple things like uh, if you put in a, a line break one line break uh, just a regular break if I go back to the code you can see this tag the uh, break tag that is just uh, accomplished by hitting the shift return so I did that right here and maybe I want to drop in oh an HTML element like a horizontal rule just to separate a little bit and I can return some of this works like you know a Microsoft Word or something and some of it doesn't so you just have to kinda get used to it Okay insert HTML horizontal rule so 
I got a few lines on there. I know that's incredible. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save. And now what I want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, create the other pages. Now, if you follow a usable website design uh, for usability, you would generate your other pages based on your home page design, meaning that you want the menu to stay in the same place on every page, you want the title to be on every page, you want the same colors and the same formatting. So that's what we're going to do. So after you have saved your home page, you're just going to do a save as. So I would do file save as, and let's call this about .html. Obvious what to name it here, about, and click save. Okay, so I've got, I'm on my about page. It looks exactly the same. So what I want to do is change a few things around. Let's get rid of that picture, and let's change this word updates to about. And maybe you don't need that link on there anymore. Okay, file save. All right, and let's do the same thing for the other pages really quickly. File save as, okay, we'll call it specs.html. Save that. Change the title so that the, the user knows where they are. Save that. Do a file save as history. Save. Okay, change this. Okay, save. File save as. Whoops, I don't need to. Oh, yeah, I need to do one more. Contact.html and click save. Okay, now I've got all my pages here. One thing you'll notice is when you start doing the file save as, which basically is just saving a copy, it opens up multiple tabs uh, in your viewer window right here. So you can just flip back through. Okay, it looks just like that. All right, now uh, what else would I want to do here? Well, I probably want to put a home link in somewhere. And I'd probably want to uh, maybe maybe deactivate the link of the page that I'm on. So let's start at the first one. Let's go to About, and let's just put a return in here. And you want to put a home link somewhere up towards the top. Uh, I would probably, you know, this is such a simple design that it doesn't matter that much. But uh, somewhere up around the menu, you could put it at the end of the menu or at the beginning. One thing you don't want to do is have the menu jump around from page to page. So if you put it up here at the beginning, that would probably be okay. Let's do that uh, at the beginning of the menu. So let's do home and then that little divider line. Okay, and I'll show you a little trick here for, for putting links in to pages that you have already created. So I'm on my about page and I'm putting a home link in. What I can do is just highlight home, come to your HTML, and see this little target right here? It says point to file. You can just drag that and point it to where you want it to go. So obviously I want it to go back to my home page, my index page, and just drop it when it's highlighted on the one you want. You can see it automatically puts it in there. Not like it's a lot easier than just typing it out, but you know it's a little bit easier. You can also use the traditional browse for file and just choose it like that. Okay, and then uh, one thing you can do to save some time is just copy and paste this menu from page to page since you've got it the way you want it. So I'll just go uh, highlight it and I'll hit Command C. I'm on a Mac here. And then just highlight the whole menu. You could just highlight the home link, but sometimes that'll cause problems if you just try to drop one link in at a time like that. Okay, highlight that and then highlight that. So all I did was go to different pages and drop in the menu again. And then I'll do a file save all. That saves all of them. Now let's uh, let's test this and then let's uh, tweak it just a little bit for usability. So first of all let me do a file preview in browser. Let me use Chrome here. 